What is the best business credit card to have? So you want to be the best and you want the best. I can agree. There are tons of business credit cards out there and they are not all created equal. There are some really good cards and some crappier ones. I'm going to tell you the truth on which ones are best so that you can get them now. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, all you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm going to share with you 10 major credit cards, not just one or two. This is Noel. I'm going to give you a lot so you can pick the best ones for you and your situation. I'm going to tell you exactly what to say on the applications and still tell the truth. We don't want to do anything unethical or illegal. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to tell you two companies that are new that almost no one is talking about. So there are some major benefits to business credit and business credit cards. Let me tell you, I literally was so late to the business credit card game. I actually had bad credit when I started in real estate investing. Some of you may know, I literally started my real estate investing career from my parents' basement. I had bad credit because I had multiple foreclosures, we had just filed bankruptcy, and we had lost everything. So when I got into real estate investing, I did not have very much money and I had bad credit. So I had to kind of climb my way out of that terrible situation by starting to make money in real estate investing. I got me a coach and he taught me wholesaling, which literally did change my life. I was able to pay off my debts and start to rebuild my own personal credit. I did so by paying down my debts, doing wholesaling, then I graduated to fixing and flipping, and eventually I got rental properties. But along the way, I did not build my business credit and I got hit major when I did start using my personal credit again. Again, I was so late to the game with business credit and I just want to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes. There are so many benefits that I now reap with all of my business credit cards. I get rewards, I get points, I get cash back, and now I'm able to avoid using my personal credit and I only rely on my business and my business credit so that my personal credit, which is in the 700s, stays very good and my business funds all of my ventures. It's amazing. I wish I would have known sooner, which is why I'm telling all of you guys. So like I said, I'm a real estate investor, but tell me below and just kind of comment below because I want to make sure that I'm helping you and giving you guys the right information. Comment below and tell me some of the things that you're wanting to do with your business credit. Write below what type of businesses you're starting, what you want to buy, or what you plan on doing with the funding. I want to make sure that I can help you not only get the funding, but tell you what to do with it so that you can maximize your business and get to millionaire status. So let's talk the secrets of business credit. When it comes to business credit cards, there's this unsaid secret called the 524 rule. So you can get tons of business credit cards, but you have to be very strategic when you're doing it. Because in many cases in the beginning, they will check your personal credit score, you will get an inquiry on your personal credit report. And so many of the banks will look to see how many inquiries that you have, and they will limit you to five inquiries in the past 24 months. We call this the 524 rule because it's not advertised anywhere, but this is what most banks go by, especially banks like Chase and Citi. They are notorious for the 524 rule. So you want to be careful and if you can, get some business credit cards that you know will not give you a hard inquiry on your credit report, meaning they did not pull your full credit in order to give you the business credit card. If you can get a soft pull, whereas they just check to see the profile of your credit report, that will not result in a hard inquiry and you can actually get tons of business credit cards really quickly. I'll share with you some more secrets on that. So the best way to do this and to start getting business credit cards is to make a decision and go after the ones that you know or are highly likely to get approved for. So if you're first starting out and you have decent personal credit, there's a ton of great business credit cards that you can go for pretty easily. My suggestion and the easiest way that I have found and my students are finding is when they open up their business checking account, many of my students are literally getting offers for business credit cards right on the spot. Because they've already checked your personal credit to give you that business checking account, many banks, especially Bank of America, are providing these businesses with business credit cards. And the amazing thing is some of those limits are super high. So as you may only get like $1,000 from a Capital One card, new businesses that have a decent personal credit score are seeing 10, 15, $20,000 limits right off the bat 
with a business credit card and you're able to get a two for one. You get this business checking account and now you have a business credit card to boot. So go ahead and check with the bank where you have your business checking account. A lot of the banks that I like to use are some of the mid-sized banks. One of my favorite banks that I'm really enjoying right now is Regions Bank. I know that they're not in every single state, but if you have a Regions Bank in the state where you are in, they're one of my top recommended banks. I was able to get a $24,000 business credit card right off the bat. Additionally, I've had students that have been able to do the same. Bank of America, they used to not be so great. In fact, if you look at some of the older videos from people from four and five years ago, they probably would have told you to stay away from Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, and things like that. But nowadays, there's tons of money for businesses and the banks have lots of money for businesses as this is a new push for the economy. Businesses are one of the major things that drive our economy, especially in the United States. And this is a great time to take advantage of all of the money that is out there for businesses at those banks. So again, go to your regular bank where you have your business checking account and see if you can get those business credit cards. Next, here are some of my all-stars. I absolutely love the Chase Business Inc. credit card. I have so many students and myself have three of the Business Inc. credit cards. It's an absolutely amazing credit card and in many cases, you can get lots of free months with no interest. This is a great thing to do if you want to transfer balances or if you have some major purchases that you wanna make for your business and not have to pay any interest on them. You will need a 660 personal credit score in order to do this and they do follow that 524 rule that I told you earlier. So beware of those hard inquiries. Some other credit cards that I absolutely love. The American Airlines Aviator Business Card. Now, remember, there are two types of credit cards that they offer. So it's American Airlines, it's a MasterCard. I actually have the personal one and the business one. I absolutely love the business one because I travel a lot and I can get free flights, free bags, and fly people into me for free. Another rising star on the business credit card world is the Capital One Spark Card. Pretty much all of my students after six months to a year have been able to get this credit card. They don't require a really high FICO score. I don't know exactly what it is, but I don't think it's nearly as high as some of the other cards. Even if they only give you 2,000 or 5,000, take it. Remember, you can call them back in six months after six months of timely payments, and they will usually increase the credit limit. I literally started off with only 9,000, not really sure why since I had so many credit cards with much higher limits, but when I call them back, they three times the amount. So don't hesitate to get the card and use the fact that you can call them back in six months and get the limits increased. I literally love the Capital One Spark card now because it does offer cash back. Last but not least, the juggernaut and everyone's favorite when it comes to business credit cards are the American Express business cards. Now these ones are going to be a little bit more difficult and you will need to have your business for two years. Additionally, you will need to have a physical address for the business. Yes, you can use a virtual address, but it needs to be one with a physical address. So it's not going to be, you know, some of the cheaper ones that you can only get for $9.99 or $15. You're going to have to have like a Regis or an Opus or a real physical address in order to get those American Expresses. However, they are awesome. They have some of the highest limits and they usually three times your credit limit every six months provided your personal credit score stays intact. I have tons of these credit cards and I literally love, love, love my American Express Hilton Rewards business credit card. I have a limit I think of like $88,000 on that card and I am able to do so many things and the minimum payment is not crazy. Now, the American Express is why everyone loves them is because they have super high limits, they're very flexible. However, they do have a pretty large annual fees, but you gotta pay to play and I do. And as an honorable mention, this is a newbie to the field, the Navy Federal Business Credit Card. If you have any access to be able to get into the Navy Federal Business Credit Card, please take it. I don't know all of the ways because I wasn't able to get this until I was able to find a student that could we partner with their business and then we were able to get a checking account with them and then I got their business credit card, but it's absolutely amazing. Many people that are in the armed forces or if you're related to someone in the armed forces can very easily get a Navy Federal account 
and then you can get their business credit card pretty much on the spot. Additionally, they have this amazing program where they will take the money that you have in your account, they will collateralize that, and I think they will give you 10 times what you have. So using as an example, if you have $10,000 in an account, they will give you $100,000 in your business credit. It's absolutely amazing and I had to mention it. So if you can find a way to get in with Navy Federal Credit Union, make sure you do it. So I had to mention this because I get it. Some of us have some credit issues. So let me give you some quick ones if you have some bad credit. But I actually have made a complete video on how to get business credit if you have bad personal credit. Make sure you check that video out. It has so many views and people are loving it. I spill all the beans. But I'm just gonna share with you two really quick ways if you have poor credit to get some business funding now. There's a company called Five Star Processing that will offer to you business credit and a merchant credit card right on the spot. You literally can have a score as low as 300 and they will give you a credit card in your business's name. It's absolutely amazing, but it will take a few weeks. They get inundated with so many applications. So literally at the time of this video, it's almost a three week process to get that business funding. But again, well worth it, especially if you have bad credit. We also have as honorable mention, of course, is PayPal credit. Their working capital is absolutely amazing and Square Capital. You must have those accounts set up as a business, not personal, but they too will lend after just three months. Okay, so I have spilled all the beans. You have so much information, you are ready to go. Please make sure you watch my videos. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of this free content that I am bringing to you every single weekday. I am literally spending thousands of dollars teaching you everything that I know because I want you to be successful. I want you to have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.